Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Diaries of Death with Isaac the Reborn, a permanent run where we're playing a mage and we're uh, starting the Draugr content now with Kjolburn Burrow where we're going to go in and help oh, Rallus here. You. This is Before I could... This is what I get. I mainly want well, to do I'm this here in order to over way. Uh, get uh, the like rings, the because both of the fall. rings would be quite could helpful. Be I don't know. Any luck? Cool. It's relatively late already. In game, that is. So time for us to buff up and get everything ready. Good, fully buffed. Let's get this going. All right, let's go. Fortunately, we really don't have that many good tools to deal with them, which means it's going to be a bit of a slog. But I could imagine that we're actually double casting this. This could be a quite helpful ally. On another note, let's get Sunfire up and running. I wouldn't just run in there. problem we need to regenerate but we don't have a lot of room to maneuver here not being able to regenerate whilst we're running is a huge problem Need another potion just to get the magicka back up. a little bit out of steam here. What is happening? Why did we just lose so much carry weight? Right, 
can't just accept that we're losing that much carry weight. Needed to chuck that potion. Something was awkwardly wrong, like we just lost 30-ish carry weight and all of a sudden in the middle of uh, the combat I started becoming ultra ultra slow. Can't raise him. But we very well can raise her. Very good. Okay, much more convoluted and complicated than I would have uh, wanted it to be. Specifically, since we lost carry weight in the middle of oh transmute muscles was off now i do understand but well, that can't happen again Psycho. that could be a death sentence in just in terms of what uh, the heavy boots are allowing us to do. 5% cost reduction, which will potentially just make up for the fact that we're now having a one item of heavy armor and just grants the ability to walk on water. Unfortunately, doesn't solve our problem. Yeah, the stamina is nice. It's better than what we had beforehand. Still not 100% convinced if that's the right decision. Because heavy armor makes all of the spells cast, uh, cost more. Increases our effective mass. I guess we can wear it for now, but... The moment that we get some other boots, we should uh, exchange it immediately. Next iteration of the dungeon, we'll be able to grab the ring, and that is why what I wanted to do in the first place. Any luck? Well, now we'll have to sweeten the pot. I never get tired of that. Sound. Okay, Ooh. I will need to do some more preparation for Bleak Falls Sparrow, specifically and a better way of, uh, well, the re reanimation actually worked relatively well, so that part was okay, but I need a better way of just dealing damage to them. Um, I'll figure something out. And here we are in Bleak Falls Sparrow been a while I prepared all of the necessary steps and on top of that I gave our sword a very minor mild enchantment nothing that will help a lot just a tiny bit Against bandits, the silver sword. Oh, wow. I was about to say, is dealing an okay amount of damage before I got completely hit by a power attack. So I decided against uh, the heavy armor boots because, all things considered, they're really not going to help us all that much. The reason why I'm saying that is. 
I can't sprint in heavy armor. That immediately will trigger all of the typical downsides of heavy armor. I equally can't really cast well in heavy armor and I'm low-key thinking about ditching the little bit of of um, evasion based armor so light armor that we're currently wearing because it just makes it so much more difficult yeah we need to get alteration 50 and then i'll completely ditch the rest of the armor Okay, Khajiit is fighting again back there. Apparently we pulled an entire pack of bandits. Good, is that it now or are there still more coming? See the magical regeneration could definitely better uh, be better. Still relying very much on physical attacks and our level 10 or so that we are is deceivingly high in reality we do have 25 in magical skills and that's like nothing uh, you can theoretically do league for barrows with it but you can't expect that you're going to win any major battles with it Power spikes for Magicka are massive. Now the highest rank that we do have so far is Conjuration. That's pretty much about it. Conjuration 44. Not quite a level yet. Okay, I'll do one more mage armor and then we can go in. Good enough, let's go. I did not take any ranged weapon with us. Got another silver sword there. And I found a way, by the way, uh, to at least work with our ma uh, Magicka. Just forgotten to use it outside. Because I have bought funeral rites. Might not be the sexiest spell, but one that will help us with all of the magicka or lack thereof and deeper inside of the dungeon we definitely will be able to use this Okay, so far so good. Is our staff recharged more or less? I 
I reduced carry weight by the way as well so I should not never be the problem again that transmute muscles is running out and we're reduce uh, we're losing movement speed that really should not happen Fireball scroll that isn't bad. That's actually quite decent. Gosh, unperked one handed is not dealing a lot of damage. These little things can't be funeral rites. I tell you what, for the first time, did we have. Oh, by the way, I also bought uh, Purify Undead 1, which might be a decent crowd control spell. Bear ate uh, the legendary um, par paralysis, so luckily we were okay. this point onward ready to restore stamina please because we will be hitting quite a bit in melee move his way to pool for how bad we are uh, with one handed Not even trying to turn around. Now is a actually good time for a purify undead.
Oh, his shield blocks it. Yeah. No, he's too high of level. That is the problem, Saiken. Up to level 9, and that's about it. So far so good. We got Sunfire for direct damage, but we also got something even better, which is Race Dead. Take that one. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just drop that instead of taking it? And it fell through the floor. <laughs> Maybe I took it, but I didn't hear. I didn't hear the sound. couple of these guys behind so that we can reanimate them I wouldn't be so notoriously bad against um, any Draugr, because Draugr are highly resistant to ice. I would actually think about keeping them. Let's try it. Super careful not to get pincered like that. Okay, we got that one. And we got another potential servant uh, just lying down. There's a there's another one there. So a few corpses to work with, which is good. would be a phenomenal corpse uh, we definitely need 
mage armor and a couple of other things because we're out out so let me rebuff that good refreshed um, transmute muscles refreshed our uh, armor and uh, summon that guy That's a new corpse. Alright, good to have that in the back pocket. Please move on. Thank you. Solid uh, amplified uh, revive uh, revive undead would be helpful here. Problem solved. Once we're at it, um, let's take one Draugr with us. Okay, we still have a few more drogers to work with. Good, slowly but surely, we're getting in. Yeah, unfortunately, we're lacking the sustain. I created a couple of magical potions. Which are somewhat compensating that, but if I see that uh, TM is already running out again, our buff routine is just too frequent uh, for continuous combat. It's not unusual, I want to rather be safe than sorry, so it's quite clear that we need to uh, wait a bit for the buffs. High elves do have an advantage in in that regard that they can trade their stamina oh. all right let me get a new one that they can trade their stamina for magicka but unfortunately all of the races have that luxury good we got a new draugr and that's the interesting part about also playing a mage towards uh, the end game like all of the little nitty-gritty problems that you current that we're currently having, not enough um, magicka to summon something, mana regeneration sucks. If we move, we're losing a lot of magicka. Yada yada yada, like the whole nine yards. All of that essentially will be gone. 
towards the end game. I distinctly remember my uh, base requiem, so not the really of tweaks. End game mage, and that was just disgusting. The amount of damage. Continuous casting. Never had to wait. enough physical stats to at least open some of the chests now without spending magicka Unfortunately, we can't take him over, I don't think so. Okay, time to do the rebuffing first. And here we resume. Transmute muscles and major armor back in action. Carefully getting the short end, uh, shouting to her down. I figured I might have needed to drink my surpassing rejuvenation potion. Luckily I don't. my friend still has a potion of healing so apparently that's not the problem you are taking us somewhere warm I trust I will shoulder some of He your does back. not have. Uh, I should have given that uh, to him. He does not have a silver you. weapon, so naturally his damage is absolute garbage.
I need you, Barjo, to maybe wait here and not just run in, because that would be quite dangerous, my friend. Hand drawer gun. That's good. They continue to go for the summer bear, which is also good. Yeah, and now we need to pull them back, like way back. We do have some help down here. near the stairs. Hitboxes are totally off and we're on the stairs. But I'm okay with them being on the stairs as long as my stamina continues to regenerate. Resurrect a stronger. I think it's better to just normally resurrect them. And let them wreak havoc with their two handed weapon. Okay, cool. So the first batch of enemies is done. Time for us to, of course, rebuff once again. But overall we've done better than I would have expected. Carjo already fighting up here. Oh yeah, he is. I need to run this guy all the way back here again. Go ahead. Go in. armor running out it's maybe a bit of a problem
Okay, I'll do another round of waiting and rebuffing. Good, transmute muscles is back, major armor back, and we got a fresh summoning here. Already hear the shout, yep. Okay, unfortunately that backfired a bit. fight them downstairs my swing speed is not fast enough to do anything meaningful which is a bit of a shame can't even get two hits in between they can't hit us from up there just need to make sure that they don't use arrows, and just as I was thinking it, they hit us. Okay, he's just holding them back for a bit. Far so good. It seems we're always like pulling them here to die just to then reanimate them again and bring them back. It's the carousel of life. So, next up, we've cleared the room. A couple of calls were a bit closer than I wanted them to be. So I'll do another round of rebuffing here. There we are. Transfer muscles back up. Armor back up. And we got ourselves a new Draugr. Let's try to pull these guys one, one after the other. Full eyes stronger. I can see an opportunity here. Oh, that one was good hit.
Okay, well, once again, we need to pull back. Too many drogers. But we can get them one at a time. There's still a corpse here. A single hit. All right, we got to pull these guys all the way back. That's the last corpse that we have available, but knowing just how we fight here, very soon there will be new corpses. Oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck. Oh boy. My own Draugr stuck me. Fight on the stairs. There we go. Okay, cool. Closer than I wanted it to be. And you guessed that we already need to rebuff again. You can theoretically do it at level 1 with nothing but the silver sword and a lot of time but then it's even more of a hassle than it already is let me rebuff we got our new servant another draugr And it's time to move in further. Good, so almost got everybody. One two handed drawer left. might be better than the flame atronach. Could save the flame atronach and instead summon improved summon that two-handed draugr. That's a good idea.
Decent weapon. I think I already have shock. Yeah, he'll be immune to par paralysis, so no point in even trying. If you guys would come over here, I would actually appreciate that a lot. Casey's a frost dragger. Let's put that up and frost suppression. Considered. The Dogger is actually tanking him quite well. There we go. Okay, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Another one of uh, these axes. Bit unlucky, same enchantment twice. Good, I'll trade in all of uh, the rewards. And let's just upgrade Conjuration here to 50. We got a couple of greater points uh, remaining as well. I'll save them for Alteration because I think I want to max Alteration first. 275, there are just too many good perks in Alteration. And we got ourselves a level. Conjuration 50. I think I'll use the power spike for Adam. Conjuration finally. Higher race that is would be good, but summon flame atronach itself is definitely great. So I definitely want the flame atronach. Race set 3 isn't bad either because that would allow us to basically get the shouting draugers. The other option is necromantic empowerment on self, which is another buff. I noticed though that we do have a bit of a struggle to keep all of them up, but might as well come in handy. We don't need that many different summonings for now. Uh, the Flame Atronarch itself will already do a very, very nice job. Plus, with Cognitive Flexibility, we can get another summoning. So, let's just update the summonings real quick. That is no longer needed. The bear isn't bad either. But I think we'll just be a bit pale in comparison to play Matronarch. Duration isn't that hot yet.
bit too short potentially need to be double cast so for now we'll just keep uh, the spirit bear just because it is tanky and can help us and we don't want to find ourselves in a situation uh, where we spend almost the entirety of the magicka bar and then do, uh, get uh, only a short uh, gain back. I'll get some more experience as we hand all of uh, that stuff in but I guess this is as good as a time uh, as ever to end this episode. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like Bleak Falls Barrow and uh, want to see more Draugr content, next time we're actually going to fight the dragon. But if you are enjoying that, uh, give a Fusat uh, dragon shout towards the like button and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.